This bill was enacted in 2015 against the backdrop of the rising cases of violence, especially domestic violence against women. The initial bill sought protection for women from male domination violence in the face of opposition to its obvious gender bias nature. The promoters renamed it, tinkered with some of its provisions, introduced seemingly gender neutral language, and successfully obtained its, pass its passage. Its explanatory memorandum states that it prohibits all forms of violence against persons in private and public life and provides protection and remedies for victims and punishment of offenders. Upon close scrutiny of the act, it becomes obvious that it contains provisions that are inimical to the realization of its objectives. Mr. President, my very distinguished colleagues, going through the provisions of the act, it is obvious that it is plagued by substantial and drafted uh, challenges. This underscores the necessity for a holistic reform of the act to bring the provisions in line with the realities of societal change and drafting standards to effective dispensation of justice. We will take cognizance of cultural diversities, but we must protect our children and the future of the country. Another thing that I find very compelling is this section 27 of the Act, which vests jurisdiction only in the High Court of the FCT. Does it mean that this does not apply generally across Nigeria? The High Court of FCT, will it mean that if an unwholesome act or cause in Sokoto, the person will bring it to the High Court of FCT. So there are a lot of things that we need to amend and, uh, and calls for amendment. So it's not cast in concrete. We haven't passed it yet. But all we are doing is just to look at the methodology and to be convinced that it should go for second reading. So I, I, think, uh, I think all the people who have spoken allude to the fact that this bill should actually go for second reading. So those in support that this bill be read a second time, say aye. Those again, say nay. The eyes have it. Distinguished colleagues, a bill for an act to repeal the Violence Against Persons Prohibition Act 2015 and enact the Violence Against Persons Prohibition Act, uh, Bill 2024 to eliminate violence in private and public lives, prohibit all forms of violence against persons, and to provide maximum protection and effective remedies for victims and punishment for, of offenders and for related matters 2024. Second reading taken. This bill is now referred to the Committee on Judiciary, Human Rights, and Legal Matters to bring back in six weeks. For your esteemed consideration, this bill seeks to establish a regulatory body that will oversee, promote, and enhance the practice of out-of-home media. The bill was read for the first time on Thursday, 16th May, 2024. Mr. President, distinguished colleagues, the out-of-home media industry encompasses, and Mr. President, this is where you uh, need to know exactly what it takes. It encompasses billboards, transit advertising, and digital displays. And as we know, these play a pivotal role in the country's advertising landscape today. It's of significant importance in that it addresses the multifaceted out-of-home media in our environment and the need to professionalize engagement in the sector. 
the body will, among other things, advance the profession. The body will promote the art and science of out-of-home media practice, ensuring that it evolves with the technological advancements and international best practices. Distinguished colleagues, a bill for an act to establish chartered out-of-home media practitioners of Nigeria and for other related matters 2024. Second reading taken. This bill is now committed to the Committee on Establishment and Public Service Matters to report back in six weeks.